Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing with our freshman spotlight series. As we take a look back at some of these kids from that 2023 class and talk about who's going to be able to make an impact year one. And we're going down to College Station and talking about one of the top running backs from that 2023 class in five-star Ruben Owens. This was a massive get for Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies, flipping him from Louisville. And this is a dude that when you turn on the film, just a little bit different and really hard to see him not making an impact year one as a true freshman for Texas A&M. And I'm even sitting here saying I'm a big fan of Le'Veon Moss. I think he's going to get a lot of burn too. But Ruben Owens going to be a guy that's really hard to keep off the field, going to dive into the film, talk about what's going to help him translate year one for the Texas A&M Aggies. Now, before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. It's been a blast talking recruiting in the 2024 cycle, even going back to the 2023 cycle. And now it's even more fun to talk about some of these guys that we talked about in that 2023 class and what are they going to look like year one. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, appreciate you guys for rocking with the fellas. And let's get into Ruben Owens. And I think the first thing I want to say about Ruben Owens is how comfortable he is running between the tackles, which is kind of rare for running backs coming out of high school. A lot of these top running backs are used to kind of playing in a little bit more spread out offense, being able to operate in space. Ruben Owens, when we're going to turn on the film, you're going to see him be really comfortable between the tackles in a phone booth, making people miss, reading blocking schemes. And then when it does come to getting out in the open field, he's one of the best in the game, has a 10 6 500 meter dash time to his name. It's funny to hear a lot of the national media talk about how Devon A-Chain and that production is going to be replaced. You got two really, I mean, you could even throw Amari Daniels in there as well, but I really do think Ruben Owens and Le'Veon Moss are going to bring some big-time juice to the Texas A&M rushing attack. And if this offensive line can take the steps I think they can take, you're looking at one of the better rushing pro or rushing attacks, I should say, in the country. Now, Ruben Owens specifically, turning on the film, like the, the my favorite part about his game is just how comfortable he is in tight areas between the tackles. Really, really smooth change of direction. His contact balance is absolutely unbelievable, too. You're going to see on this, this next play. I mean, his ability to absorb contact, stay on his feet, is kind of next level. I mean, makes like four or five guys miss. Four number four here just gets absolutely buried. And then, again, when it is time to hit the burners, Ruben Owens is one of the fastest players in this 2023 class. And again, working through traffic, running through arm tackles, his ability to stay on his feet. And I'm not going to go out crazy and start copping to like Alvin Kamara or whatever. It does remind you a little bit of how Alvin Kamara runs in the sense that stays low, can absorb contact extremely well, and then hitting the Jets when he needs to hit the Jets. I love how well he reads his blocks too, which again is something rare. The patience and vision for running backs is something that I feel like comes on later because they're relying so much on just their athletic talent, which Ruben Owens has plenty of it, but he's also a guy that really trusts his blocking scheme and knows how to kind of pick through and find that open area. And then when it is time to make someone miss and take it to the house, he certainly can do that as well. One of the best, I, he's truly one of the more fun film studies to watch just because of how smooth he is and how much he understands his position at that running back makes DBs look slow. And I, I love that ability to, when you are kind of in that open grass, like you can take a 20 yard run and make it an 80 yard run and take it to the house. Ruben Owens really does have that burners. He's such a smooth mover, making people miss really comfortable running back and a really complete running back. And I kind of want to take us to this Texas A&M um, depth chart and talk about how Ruben Owens fits in, right? You lose the Devon A chain who was a stud. I think Le'Veon Moss is super slept on, and maybe a lot of hype gets to Ruben Owens. Le'Veon Moss is going to play a lot. Amari Daniels is going to play a lot. And I think this running attack is massive for Texas A&M because you're going to have Connor Wigman, I, I think, and I hope personally for, as a college football fan, that we do see Connor Wigman. What's a quarterback's best friend is an ability to run the football at a very high level. If they can do that, and I, my, my question for Texas A&M is not as much the running backs. I think the personnel in the running back room is really good. It's can this offensive line that we've kind of been on record saying it's a good group. Like Bryce Foster is one of the better centers in the country. I really loop, uh, really, ah, sorry about that. Ruben Fathery. I really like his game too at that tackle position. 
and even Chase Basantis, the true freshman, and we could spotlight him as well, could come in and make some noise. I think at the end of the day, I think it's up to this offensive line to help that rushing attack because if you can get some good blocking from this offensive line, I really do think this rushing attack is going to be explosive. When people have to start loading the box, that's when Connor Wigman can start to cook with guys like Evan Stewart, Noah Thomas, and Nia Smith. This is an offense that has a ton of playmaking ability, and I think it starts up front taking a little pressure off Jimbo Fisher, Petrino, and the play calling and establishing that run. And something Bobby Petrino, if he does call the plays, has always been really good at is putting his players in positions to succeed, right? And, and like t- identifying who are the playmakers on this offense and how can we get them the football in space or in, in, a, in a spot where they can really make the defense hurt. Bobby Petrino has always been good at that. And you take a look at this offense with Evan Stewart, Aeneas Smith, who I think is one of the more slept on wide receivers in the country. And you talk about the tight end group is loaded. The running back room really good. I think that this is an offense that if you can figure out a way to get the ball into your playmakers hands and positions that they can succeed, you have the personnel. Now I want to see that offense kind of take off. It's again, one of the reasons why I'm so high on this Aggies team Heading into 2023, if they can put it together, this is one of the more dangerous teams in the country. Again, appreciate you guys checking the boys out. Ruben Owens, do not sleep on him. I think he's one of the more talented running backs from that 2023 class. Appreciate you guys checking us out, and we'll talk to you all later.